and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lee Sin Lux. This is going to be our second deck for Rank Up Sunday. This is another deck that we went 5-0 with earlier in the week, so you know we got to bring it back for Rank Up Sunday. It was a lot of fun to play, and I have to say that my favorite thing that we got to do, which hopefully we get to do again, was have Rush give an ally plus one plus zero quick attack, and then combine that with a challenger with uh, Scout. So Blinding Assault um, with Valor with Rush or Genevieve Elmhart with Rush. Both of those were really, really cool. Hopefully we get to pull that off again. But besides that, of course, our deck's gonna be really focused on our spells with our champions being Lux and Lee Sin. We're gonna need to have a lot of spells. Remembrance is gonna be a big part of that, of being something that we're gonna want early because Basically, by turn three, we got to make sure that we have, you know, Blinding Assault, Eye of the Dragon, Scale of the Dragon, Vanguard Sergeant, or Remembrance. we got to be playing something before turn four, something that affects the board. Uh, and so those are our options. Um, we got a lot of we got a lot of deep meditations to help give us some card advantage. Radiant Guardian is awesome in the, this metagame. I remember I was, I was really, really happy with Concerted Strike. Uh, we don't have any single combats in here, just going the Concerted Strikes. They were awesome. Uh, got a couple of denies. And then both Scales the Dragon and Vanguard Sergeant are both good of, of being bodies that can be out there that still give you the spells. They both draw, basically it's like they draw a card. They can give you some spells to be able to cast because you need more spells with your champions with Lee Sin and Lux. So definitely like the additions of both of these. And Vanguard Sergeant, we're putting in a second one. We played two Relentless Pursuits last time. We're just going to have the one Relentless Pursuit. It is pretty awesome having Relentless Pursuit um, when you have a leveled up Lee Sin and getting another Dragon's Rage attack. But that's really about the, the one time that you need that Relentless Pursuit. So we're just going to be playing one. All right, so Lee Sin Lux. Let's go play over in Ranked. We're going to go play five games, and we'll see if we can continue to build on our good record last time that we had. We're playing some Nightfall. I do like Radiant Guardian, but we're going to need... We need something to play before Lee Sin. I think I'm actually going to mulligan Lee Sin... Just need to find some earlier stuff. Okay. I could see Valor being pretty awesome with the quick attack for this matchup, with them having some smaller units, most likely. Uh, the Valor, of course, does go really, really well with Radiant Guardian. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. How you can quick how you can scout attack first. And we'll go ahead and play one right now, I guess. Go wait till next turn, play them both to get, and then I get a draggling for the turn after. But if they're not going to have something this turn, I'll get some damage in. Hey, Herman. Yeah. Playing your list here on Rank Up Sunday. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty sparkle fly. Okay, so I guess we just force them to play something here. Uh... So at least they can't just like play the Spacey Sketcher first before their Nightfall stuff, I guess. That's that's the upside. Okay. That's fine. I'll save the spell manics. Oh, I was gonna say, because then we could draw Lee Sin. Um, let's see. Maybe we go give this. Alright, so I could I could Sonic Wave my 1-3, give a challenger, can take down the 5-3. It's an option. Let's do that. Now I still have Deny available. Yeah, we got Scales the Dragon in here. Let's 
play in a lot of decks you don't see that often. Darkness hides in my path. Whatever the cost. It's going to be wasting a good amount of mana. That's just the way it is. There we go. The one problem with that rush right now is that I don't get to... I can't play rush and play Radiant Guardian and have deny backup. I think that's probably fine. We probably don't need deny backup. But I don't know. Rush is just taking down some... These things aren't really that important. Now we're going to play it. So I kind of figured it would be probably their their main defense would be like unspeakable horror, where we'd have rangers resolve. No, I needed my deny. You will be scoured from this land. And another equinox. Shouldn't have played rush. Dang, that that one hurt. Our hand's just fine. We got, you know, removal spell for their champions with the Concerted Strike. We got protection with Deny. Obviously, I like the Genevieve Elmhard draw, because we definitely just need to find impactful cards. So they are going to have... They still have an Invoke card in hand. They have one Invoke card from the Priestess. They're about to discard something for another Invoke card. Stars whoopsie is another spark. Discard Pale Cascade? What? What? I don't even know what they can have, but it can't be if better than Pill Cascade. Us, I guess, okay, okay, that could be better than Pill Cascade. So Nocturne, you know, Nocturne coming down here would be leveled up. I want to have Concerted Strike available to kill a Nocturne before it attacks, because um, they'd have three Nightfall things attack. <laughs> Please don't have Diana. Ooh, that's new. Okay. Yeah, I guess one of these two cards should still be an invoke card. I will end this here. Great card to draw. Nothing back. Oh, I don't know why Valor's not attacking. I guess I could Valor the Doom Beast now, Valor the Doom Beast later. The mountain knows me. I am the traveler. They can just go infinite, just keep on grabbing more travelers. Get as many as three fours as they want. Belong to us. Strike for justice. Open your eyes. Shining softly. <laughs> so many invoke cards. Well, the traveler just yeah. If I would kill the traveler, they'd still behold another one because it it just 
created one. So this is an invoke card that the Traveler just created. And now this is one from Lunari Priestess. So, gotta be the last Lunari Priestess, right? I mean, maybe not. They could Fading Memories it. So they have two Celestial cards. Pass on over to me. Okay. That sounds good. Exactly enough mana for that, plus deny. Hmm, this is this is kind of tough. So do I use deny? The answer is definitely no using deny. Sorry, but do I use Ranger's Resolve? If I use Ranger's Resolve, then I don't have deny available anymore. I think that answer is no, and I just let this happen. Why is Lux getting a barrier? What was that about? That was weird. Cause they, they could definitely have, you know, like an obliterate card. Or a obliterate two things card. And that's why I did not want to deny earlier. And there we go, one and oh. Well, this could be a good match. <clears throat> High running or buy. Both going to be some late game decks. I'm going to keep Lux, actually. Just going to keep my powerful champion. Definitely see this going either way. So my plan right now is to play Remembrance on turn three. Especially no attack token turn two. We don't really need to get the side of the dragon in right away. You think that they're playing? Oh, um, for that that last game, you would not have kept the deny up because you thought they were running a pretty aggressive deck with the nightfall package. Well, we did know that they had two invoke cards in hand, and those invoke cards are pretty powerful, and how they just passed the previous turn probably meant they had something pretty strong. So really good quality deny there from my opponent. I won't stand by. So next turn I can play Eye of the Dragon. And so we'll have five mana plus this one six. I can play Eye of the Dragon, and then I can still have Concerned Strike available. Snap out of it, sister. We'll take down a, Heim a potential Heimerdinger. I don't want to make that trade because of Concerned Strike. Okay, they're just gonna pass. I'll take on anyone. Soldiers to me. So playing the Vanguard Sergeant to still have Concerted Strike up. What seems to be the problem? I only have four mana with the Genevieve Elmhart. Don't really like my options. Yeah, just not sure about any of these options. Okay, they're gonna go the next turn also. Ready for the fight. So if, if we do, if we pass turn again, I'm going to we'll both be burning a card. So I'm 
sure they have tons of ways to deal with this. Key Guardian was pretty clutch. Probably should have slammed down my Lux that same turn. Okay. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Answers. I have them. So we're gonna have nine mana? What are we gonna do with nine mana? Go Valor. Now that's two for luck, so four to Masia would kind of be a waste of two mana a little bit. Hopefully want to kill this before they get to create the 4-1. Awesome. That's big. No deny. Deny I would have saved their Heimerdinger and I would not level up my Lux and not get the final spark, you know, all that kind of stuff. Basically, my plan here is to play the Eye of the Dragon. Uh, all right. And so I wanted the extra room, which is why I attacked with that 3-3 that three, three right there. I'm still at 8. We're going to have to start life stealing. <clears throat> we did play multiple spells. Now expect how that Concern Strike did not get countered. Their deep meditations are going to cost three this turn. Vi stands for violence. Possibly they just pass and I waste all my mana. I don't need a plan. Eat this. All right, they did not turn this into ten damage. Ah. Interesting. No, no, no! Sub Percival. That card's great. Ten mana. Breathe in, breathe out. Wish we had more mana. I don't know if this is worth a deny, honestly. Honestly, not sure about this deny. Sub Percival or Vi more valuable? I'm not sure the answer to that question. Like this thing being elusive, I kind of think it's the, I kind of think it's the Sub Percival being elusive and all. <clears throat> and so now you know, like with having the Sonic Wave here, if they want to to blow this up, all they're doing is killing like this draggling. Okay. 
spirit gives to those who listen. What is gained when you return malevolence? Hit him where it hurts. Freeze! Trouble coming at ya! Hmm. That could be bad news. Another lifesteal barrier, that would be bad. Well, that's even worse. Very good onesie. Coming to save the day. Water wreck it. Okay, we'll take a dragon. Take a screeching dragon. This gives me two spells, so we do get another Dragling next turn. Um, so I do want to play this for Demacia next turn. See that being good. Oh, I cannot play Blinding Assaults and Four Demacia and Relentless Pursuit. So I could do Four Demacia and Relentless Pursuit. I'm gonna play the Blinding Assault. We're gonna go this and Four Demacia. We can set up another Four Demacia and Relentless Pursuit later. It'll just give me more options in case of stun cards. I want to have more options. For taking down Sub Percival. And Vi. Alright, I like 5 power lifesteal draggling as well. So my Genevieve Elmhart could challenge Vi and survive right now. That's something you don't see every day. Why would they play that right now? Like a fight spell or something? Oh. Okay. That makes the sense. So if I want to kill Vi, I have to challenge with Genevieve first and then a Screeching Dragon after. So I can trade both of those for Vi, but then we're not killing Sub Percival. Nothing back. So the good news is they are down what is the one card. The good news. Here's the fun freeze. Is worth ten foes. Brother, fiery as ever, I see. A child's anger has become a man's will. All right, so I still have Relentless Pursuit and Deny available. Uno. I want to have the Fort Demacia first. Okay, so going to over to Trundle, Trindamir. 
better known as Trundlemere. We're going to keep almost everything in our hand. We're going to have turn three Remembrance. I'm going to have a Concerted Strike to take out like a Trundle or something. And we're going to keep Lux because Lux is good. So our hand is slow, but our opponent's deck is also slow. Ooh, we got the Genevieve Elmhart Rush combo. Challenger. Ooh, the Scout. That's good. Okay, attack for 10. 10's a lot. Attack for 6. 6 is a lot. All right, we dealt three, but we also took a, a spell from them. We fight for one frail yard. One frail yard. Uh... Extend yeah, your senses. Hmm. So I can Concerted Strike and take down the Avarosen Hearthguard. I'm just going to attack here. Stand and defend. I'll see this through. Really hope they don't have another troll chant. No, come on. Oh, a vengeance. Well, that's not great either. Strike firm. Center your spirit. Um. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies. I'll we'll just play this eye of the dragon that's free and keep spell mana. These are trolls. Ooh, I like that. Follow my lead. I like that. Need some more mana though. Their pride will cost them. We're in this together. I wish I wish I could just play the the one mana part of this. Good withering whale. Had some good answers. Every turn when it looks like I'm going to have something cool to do, I mean turn three and turn five and turn seven, all three of those, they had a, a real good answer. Discipline and steal. I'll knock him dead. This is gonna be fun. Sure hope this works. Interesting. They would rather kill Lee Sin than Lux. Interesting. That was unexpected. I mean, how worried should I be of Ruination at this point? I guess I need to be worried about Ruination. Not a lot I can do about Ruination, though. I feel like they don't atrocity like that if they have Ruination. Maybe I'm wrong. So if I cast four Demacia, and they have Ruination, I'd be left with three cards in hand, they'd be left with four cards in hand. Hurry. 
average soldier. I've been hiding my life too long! Conflict is all in the mind. Alright, so we're left with three cards, they're left with four cards. Of course, the worst possible scenario. Yeah, they've had they've had some really good answers for everything I'm doing. The vengeance was clutch also. I agree. First loss with this deck. Right, another large deck, but this time a Rillian Soul with Shadow Isles. Mulligan, Mulligan. Genevieve is just so good. Yeah, looking like a dragon deck. We only play six mana cards here. Besides that, that one. No, Radiant Guardian's the worst one. When you don't have something die, just generic 5-5. Five five. Okay, cool. We got the worst one. And don't have to feel bad about it. Tenacity through trial. I've been waiting for this. We could have the remembrances after the locks if we can. throw out Lux into definite ruination, vengeance, that kind of stuff. This allows me to play a big threat, Radiant Guardian. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. Weird. This is a weird turn, right? I will end this here. Man overboard! <laughs> What's going on here? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know, but basically if it was going to be Ruination, I was going to be able to play Remembrance afterwards. Um. We can do this. this gives me two mana for Lux. Sure, what's going on? Oh, heck. I'll take 
on anyone. I want to draw just a cheap spell with Lux. Okay, I mean, I guess that is a cheap spell, but maybe not that one. Couldn't pass any quicker. Can we draw Deny, please? reducing the cost of? Just Aurelian Soul, I guess? Like, do they just have, like, a 7-mana Aurelian Soul that's gonna be chillin'? Lux is now at 5 out of 6, so I can just throw- I can throw out this Ranger's Resolve just to level up Lux whenever I want. Probably gonna just play another, you know, another six mana thing, Genevieve Elmhart or Remembrance there, just to get something else out there, uh, since they couldn't ruination anymore, and then be able to go right to open attacks. A very good deck to finish it out. Twisted Fate, Swain. Yeah, wins a win. Yeah, that's. That's probably what it is. It's supposed to be Oblivious Islander, Scribe, try to keep reducing a really soul mana cost, and then revive it with Miss Call, Rekindler, that kind of stuff. That all makes sense to me. They're going to mulligan the Blinding Assault with how easy it is to kill it. I definitely like the Remembrance on three. Maybe I should be just getting rid of Lux, but Lux is just so good. We've been looking at a ton of hands that look like this. Very expensive cards. I want the tough card. So I want, I think, Vanguard Cavalry. That's what we want to hit with Remembrance, is we want the 5-5 five, five tough. Vanguard Cavalry, please. Thank you. I'll make that a difficult one to kill. Alright. Packed him good! I'll just save Lee Sin. Got a surprise for him. Steel. Pretty good. Aren't any gods here? Just me. I call upon the dragon. Master. Hardened scales. I will not hold back. My lands need me. Center your spirit. 
I could see I could see Ravenous Flock being changed to do three damage, not four. I could definitely see that being changed. I promised a blood boss. So we want to get Radiant Guardian in play. We want to get Lux in play. How are we getting them in play? My complete. Do we pass turn? Go to the next turn where I'll, I'll have more mana where I can play like Lux, have like a deny deny available and stuff. They have the extra mana than what I have anyway. My friends. I fight for the fallen. Alright, so that worked out. Yeah, get rid of that auction guillotine. I like seeing that one go. Puppy, you want to come up here? Lock the door. Okay, come here. Okay, pop. How are we doing this? Banish the unworthy. So let's play blinding assault. <laughs> yeah, Harvey's over here too. She's like, well, I want to be pet. So that's my first Gone spell for Lee Sin. The it's the important thing about doing that. And now I can have Concerted Strike or Deny, and then that's my second oh, spell's barrier. Unfortunately, if I cast Deny, that barrier will just be eaten. Oh, no, 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 it won't be eaten by the Maker Ring, because the Maker Ring will be countered. So yeah, pretty good time for Deny. Keeps them from doing the Nexus damage right here. Gives my Lee Sin a barrier. Kills the Twisted Fate. Just all of those. Obviously, they have another one. I will not hold back. Now you try. So they're inviting me to kill their. Jack the winner with the Lee Sin. It's a little concerning. I kind of want to play this card and give Radiant Guardian Challenger and take them both out. Because does that mean that they want me to challenge Jack the winner? And so, because then they're trying to level up Twisted Fate. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta do this. Our enemies cannot hide. Strike firm. Prepare yourself. So their plan's Leviathan. No, their plan's Riptide Rex. Yeah, their plan's definitely Riptide Rex. So what do I want to do against Riptide Rex? I guess I want to go Blinding Assault first. Just be another, you know, make it split these up by threes. Yeah, we just go Blinding Assault first. I'll see this through. And so I can play Concerted Strike if we need to to give a barrier to Lee Sin. 
Wow. That was pretty bad. Five of those went to the Radiant Guardian, so they actually killed the Radiant Guardian. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping like five of them would go to the two one. Hope burns on. The sun is shining. We should too. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. Your favorite release in is with Zed and Targon? Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, I forgot about Arachnoid Sentry. Wasn't really expecting that card. What do we get? Remembrance? That card's good. I'm trying to save Concerted Strike for Leviathan. That's what I'm trying to do. Pledge of Perish. Maybe we don't get to. Don't test me. Maybe we don't get to. La, 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 la. La, we'll never back down from what you believe. Act free of doubt. Remember rent. I won't stand by. I will not hold back. Now don't give them another Rex Mafia plot. As the dragon will. A deck usually plays like one. Rex. Some people play two, though, but like one or maybe two. Don't give him another Riptide Rex. Is a... Can't really beat another Riptide Rex. I've been hiding my life too long. I will not hold back. I mean, I, I mean, I can, but. Destination in sight! Machines mean nothing to the dragon. Yeah, they get to ravenous flock this thing. I'm I'm definitely considering killing the swain. No, it's gotta be the Leviathan. Yeah, I almost messed that up to targeting the Lux. It's like, what are we doing? Our enemies cannot hide. I'll see this through. Strike firm. Center your spear. Well, that's too bad. Both of my Luxes are now gone. Use the barrier to save the one lux also. But they did have a ton of stuff in play and we got rid of all of it. But we got three cards, they have three cards. Deal me in. Blue as the serpent That's a really good first card to have. Because that replaces itself. So they still so now they have four cards. 
be nothing left when I'm done. I've whipped up something special. Oh, well, that's not too bad for me, especially with having to deny. It is Riptide Rex. Yeah, I mean, if it's Riptide Rex, we're just in a lot of trouble. Act free of thought. Here, whatever spell they would have would, would probably just kill Lee Sin anyway with these barriers. Might as well get free blocks in. They call me a shark. Wow. Wow. That's good draw. We need to draw Genevieve Elmhart. I will not. I mean, that'd be good, but. I don't know if that's our best draw or not. Yeah, Jenny Vomhar would work. <laughs> yeah, Rex is very balanced. Okay, we'll take that. Could be worse. Isn't tough, okay. No blocks. Force is meaningless without skill. Stow the rations! Shackle the princess! Dang. In the end. The dragon claims us all. It's just so many of those, like, like that's what makes that deck so good is so many of those two and three power units that just get to go wide that you just kind of have to keep blocking and dealing with. And whenever you do, like, it just, all that damage adds up on, on our units, right? Just so many of those Dreadway deckhands and Petty Officers and House Spiders and all that kind of stuff that, like, we just kind of have to be doing all that blocking. That just helps, like, Riptide Rex... Helps their ravenous flocks, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, like those, all those ravenous flocks they had were amazing. I don't know, how many did they cast there? Three or four ravenous flocks that they were all amazing. And obviously the two Riptide Rex, which I think they only, probably only played two. They had both of them. They were both amazing. Yeah, it was a tough one. Um... Especially after they did the thing with the Jack, I kind of wish I didn't play my Challenger to kill the their Twisted Fate at the time. I kind of wish I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, that first that first Riptide Rex having you know hitting a four or five, uh, whatever however many that they had that killed my Radiant Guardian completely. That was rough. Yeah, just tough game there. That was that was a tough game. Uh, but our deck's still pretty awesome. I, uh, I feel bad for losing that last game, but I mean, that's what happens. Yeah, so we lo only lost two games, and it seemed like our, our opponents had to have tons and tons of really awesome stuff to, to slow us down. Um, yeah, our deck did really well. You know, we went 5-0 with it last time, still went 3-2, some two really close, tough losses uh, to some really powerful decks. That, that drew well and had good interaction. Had the right cards when you need them, but that's that's Legends of Runeterra. Gotta have the right cards when you, you need them, but this is not, as far as like on Tuesday, as we were talking about like maybe some things that are gonna be changing, you know, like we lost to like an Aurelian Soul deck, that card's probably gonna be changing. They did talk about that. Um, I could see Trundle getting nerfed a little bit. Um, I could definitely see some stuff with Bilgewater Noxus. 
um, like with Twisted Fate Swing, I could see something, you know, I don't know exactly what. We talked, maybe like Ravenous Flock does three damage. Maybe Petty Officer. Um, you know, I honestly think that Twisted Fate maybe is just the ap the absolute best champion in the game. I think it's either Twisted Fate or Trundle when you talk about just the best champions. So who knows, maybe something happens with that deck, maybe Riptide Rex. We'll kind of see. But this deck, I don't think will change. I think this deck... I don't, there's, there's no cards here that I think are even a consideration for being nerfed. Um, I, I don't think the Lee Sin is too good or anything like that, like the new Lee Sin. And so you can, um, so this is a deck that you can play and, and feel very, feel pretty confident that this deck's not going to be changing in a couple of days. Yeah, eight and two is a great record. We'll take that all the time. All right, but that's Leeson Lux. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.